Hi everyone! I just wanted to get on real quick and introduce myself. I am Alex. I'm the uh, crazy lady who's been texting you <laughs> for Amber's book party tonight at 7.30. I'm super excited and um, sorry for the glare on my glasses. <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys some of our very favorite books. I love browsing our catalogs but Nothing really compares to getting to see the actual books to see inside. That's always my favorite part when I order a new one. I get to open it up and my kids get to just explore it and love on it. So um, I'm just going to show you a few of my favorites, our family favorites. So we have a collection called The Big Book. <clears throat> this is The Big Book of Machines. There is The Big Book of ABC. And these just have big, bright, colorful pictures. They are... These are some of my favorites, the big books, big book of machines, just tons. These, the machines one actually has fold out pages to make the machines even bigger. <laughs> so, um, but uh, then we have, there's the big book of colors. This is my, probably one of my favorite big books. So I wanted to show you a little more inside this one, <laughs> but I just love it. It starts out with this color wheel and then each page is focused on a specific color this one you can see is green, but then it has all of the different shades of green. So it has racing green, emerald, pistachio, lime green, mint, avocado, all sorts of different things. And besides just telling you all of the colors, it also has emotions or different things associated with that color. So this says, the chemical that gives plants their green color is called chlorophyll. Um, green is a calming color and the color of nature and spring. Human eyes can see more shades of green than any other color. <laughs> so I just love this book. It has all these different um, types of colors. There's this fold over page. The very end, it has all the colors and their moods and meanings. Yellow, my favorite color. <laughs> Sunny, cheerful, hopeful, fresh, happy, um, all sorts. And then there's the tree at the end with all the colors. So that's our big book of colors, but we have a ton of big books. If you search uh, big book in our website, you can find all of those. <laughs> the next one, I do have a preschooler, so a lot of my books are a little more elementary aged, although I will be showing some older books and baby books tonight also. But this is my first word book, which I got just initially just for my kids to look at and sort of learn some of the words and name them. But my preschooler, she's been learning her letters and she's actually taken this book and started like, um, she'd say, mommy, how do you write, how do you write crab? How do you write slide? How do you write pool? And I, you know, I'd usually be like in the kitchen working when she's asking me that. And I'm like, uh, first it's a P and she'd be like, well, how do you draw a P? <laughs> um, so she just started looking at this book and she'll be like, oh, I want to write pool. So she will just look at that word there and then write the letters out herself and copy them. It's, um, I've been very impressed with her. So we've had a lot of uh, fun with this book. She started bringing it in the car all of the time and just practicing her letters, practicing her words. <laughs> um, so that was, that was my first, my very, my first word book. Next one to show is called Pop-Up Seasons. I've had this one for a while and I just love it. It is full of these beautiful pop-up pictures of each season. And then the very last page has this really cool seasonal tree. It has all four seasons in it. And then this is just a great book to talk to them about the different seasons. Like my daughter is born in December. She doesn't really understand what that means yet, but we're working on it. We're telling her it's in the winter when it's cold and it might be snowy. <laughs> so that is pop-up seasons. These are a couple of our new releases, our Millie May books. There's only two of these, but I just find the illustrations so cute. Uh, again, this one's dealing with seasons and this is Millie May Loves to Play. So each of these books is divided into four different sections. So this Millie May Dresses Up is the first story. And it talks about her going to her dress up box. She's trying on all these costumes. She's going to a tea party. So she finally decides to be a fairy princess. <laughs> um, and then she plays, she makes lemonade. So she goes and gets lemons from her lemon tree. She adds water, a little sugar, makes lemonade and has a little tea party with her friends. These are just adorable little books, perfect for 
um, preschool, kindergarten age. <clears throat> and they do talk about, like the seasons one, talks about the different clothes she has to wear each se season. So it's working on dressing yourself appropriately for the weather. <laughs> um, the next one is also a new release. This is a Lift the Flap book, which we have quite a few Lift the Flap books. This is my busy day. This one is perfect for preschooler. So it starts out with this little mouse. He has to wake up and get ready for school. So you'll open this tab. It says first. So first he opens the curtains. Then the child will have to go find the curtain, open them up, and let the sun in. <laughs> then it says next. Next, he he goes potty. <laughs> so they'll have to find the bathroom so the mouse can go potty because they're all the first, next, then, afterwards, finally. So it works on all of those words. He goes shopping later. You have to find which store he got each of these items from. He, um, You have to count how many flowers do you see? So they'll count one, two, three, four, five, six, and then they will open up the flower tab down here and see if they're right. Six flowers, and they'll count all sorts of things. <laughs> I just love this one. Uh, bath time, story time. Time for bed. Can you find all of these things in the room? So it's just super cute um, working on routines and things they need to do to get ready for the day and to end their day. <laughs> and working on counting, those fine motor skills with lifting the flaps, all sorts of things. And then the very last one to show is Life Size. <laughs> this one's my favorite. Um, so this book has actual life size pictures of animals or their body parts. Um, this is an elephant's toenail because obviously an elephant would not fit on this page. <laughs> but it has, um, this is a life-size bee hummingbird. It says it's mm, the world's smallest bird. It can beat its wings 80 times per second. And then it has the child do something like, try flapping your arms that fast. <laughs> uh, polar bear paw, it's a little scary. I don't ever want to be face to face with a polar bear. A giraffe's tongue, <laughs> all sorts of life sites, um, animals and their body parts. And at the very end, it has the animals and how they stack up. So a giant squid is 60 life size books tall, but an elephant is 13 life size books. And this book is a foot by a foot. So that's basically 60 feet for the giant squid. And the child can then measure themselves. They'll start this on the floor and see how many life-size books tall they are and how they compare to the other animals <laughs> that are listed there. So I think we determined my youngest was about the size of a, a toucan. <laughs> um, she was about two life-size books. So that's the last one to show. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you all tonight for the party. I'm super excited. I love party days. I love showing these books. I love sharing these books with everyone I can because once you get them in your house, they are, <laughs> they quickly become favorites and they are hard not to love. So I will see you guys tonight. Thank you for watching. Bye.